What's up guys, it's Ryan with AppCounter.com and I've got the May 15th iPhone app review for the AppCounter. The iPhone app that we're going to take a look at is an application called Clock Pro. Clock Pro is basically a multifunctional timer and alarm clock application for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. As you can see, there's 12 different um, timers and, and clocks that we're going to take a look at today. There's also a menu bar down here where I can get a little bit more information about the application, including exactly about it. There's a basically an FAQ feature in here where it talks about uh, the 30 seconds that Apple only allows you to push um, audio. So if you're waking up to your iPod music, which this app allows, it'll only push uh, 30 seconds of audio to you. There's a lot of uh, great FAQs in here to check out. What I'm going to do though is I'm just going to give a quick run through of every single one of the clocks that Clock Pro offers. First is the alarm clock. Very clean obviously. We can go to the settings here. I can select a theme. Right now we're on the nation theme. Let's go to the oceanic. Check out that real quick. We also have the uh, auto lock and flashlight shake is on. I'm going to go ahead and go here. There's a really cool feature of this application. You see these two menu bars here. I can actually change the brightness if of, of the actual backlit or the actual numbers so I don't know if you could see that too well on this. Um, also it offers the uh, landscape display mode so that's the alarm clock. We're going to take a look at now the analog clock which is basically an analog clock again with the landscape feature. There's also a classic analog clock and there's a ticker sound I don't know if you can hear that Sounds just like an old analog clock. So that's the analog clock. Let's go to the world clock now. World clock is very similar to the iPhone uh, world clock, except it's a little bit more clean. Uh, the UI is a little bit clean. Uh, you add the world clocks by searching. Let's go ahead and add somewhere in, uh, let's go ahead and add, add India. So there's the world clocks. I can um, edit those world clocks. By tapping this, I can actually change the um, how they're located, or I can actually delete them if I'd like to. Go ahead and click done and back. Now we're going to take a look at the sleep timer. The sleep timer is basically for you. You can add music from your from your um, iTunes library, and you can start a sleep timer. So you could set your sleep timer to 55 minutes. Select the music you want. Click start sleep timer, and your iPhone will automatically shut down. Um, or not your iPhone, the app will shut down or stop playing music whenever that 55 minutes is up. Very cool. Uh, another timer. The next timer is the classic egg timer. We have, um, let's see, well I don't want to edit that. Let's go ahead and just change these settings here. Ticking sound we can have on or off. I'm going to go ahead and leave it that. I'm going to reset it to one minute and I'm going to start it. It's just like a classic egg timer. Go ahead and click stop. Go back. Next we have the typical stopwatch. So I'm going to reset everything. I'm going to start the stopwatch. It has a lap timer. I can tap. So first lap was two seconds. Second lap was five seconds. Again, lap timer. I can email the laps. I can email my times uh, if I'd like to by tapping that down there. Again, very, very intuitive application. There's a lot to this application if you like timers, clocks, alarm clocks, etc. We have a chess clock. If you play chess a lot, it's just like a typical chess clock, uh, 15 minute timers. When you're ready to set the time, you just hit start. Uh, when the player's move is up, you hit in turn. And it goes on the next chess clock. Again, just like a regular chess clock, except it's on your iPhone. Go ahead and click back. The next timer is the typical countdown timer. Um, I can set the day, let's say May 23rd, um, 4 10 p.m. And I can actually give myself a push notification when it hits there. So 15 days, 20 hours, 10 minutes, and 10 seconds. I will get a push notification whenever that date uh, arises. Next um, is actually pretty cool. It's the nature times. I can actually click OK. So it is actually determining my lo excuse me, my location right now. A cool feature about this is the tides. It will actually give me the tides based on my location. So low tide is at 2.44 a.m. High tide, or low, two low tides at 2.44 a.m. and 2.50 p.m. And high tides are at 9.40. Again, these are for my, app, for my specific um, area right here. I can actually change the date. Let's go to May 9th, for instance. 
and again it's going to update low tides and high tides very cool feature um, I actually do a lot of fishing and kite surfing stuff this is actually extremely useful for me so I'm going to go ahead and click back next we have a project clock um, this is actually kind of looks like I started I've been doing this for an hour or so not this exact review but since I've been looking at the application since the project clock I can actually um, stop this project if I like to pretty cool thing um, again if you want to add a project let's say homework uh, my project title is going to be homework go ahead and click done and I'm just going to start this timer I'm going to see how long it takes me to do my homework now it's running right here if I get out of here even if I close the application um, it's going to keep running so again if I go back click in here and go to homework it's project clock again it's still running 13 seconds 14 seconds I believe if you load the application so it was at 17 seconds right now it should be at 20 something seconds and it is at 20 seconds so the application the time will actually keep running um, I, I don't know about indefinitely but it'll keep running so pretty cool application or pretty cool feature is the project clock metronome for those musicians you have a metronome you have different settings um, Allegretto, I don't, I don't know exactly how to pronounce these, but um, different settings of the metronome speeds and stuff. So if I save that, again, just a regular metronome. Then we have alarms. So I can actually set alarms on here. Um, I can add alarms. There's different uh, music and... I can actually select music from my iPod or I can um, select actual music that's on here right now. Um, it's got some very cool music. Um, this is actually one of my favorites. Just kind of a, I don't know, weird trance, trance song or something like that. So anyway, um, that's pretty much the review of Clock Pro. Very, very in-depth application. Got a ton of clocks, got a ton of timers, got a ton of really, really interesting features. I hope you enjoyed this review. This is the May 15th review for the app calendar, and I hope you all have a great day.